Question one to turn right. I will pass before the cyclist. A. After the cyclist. B. This pictogram informs me that the cyclist is driving on a bike path. When a driver who changes direction crosses a bike path, he must give way to cyclists who drive in both directions. So I'll pass after the cyclist. Question 2. I can turn left. Yes. A. No. B. The blue beacon that marks a turn does not prohibit turning left. The giveway line occupies half the width of the street and the continuous line has an interruption that allows passage. So I can turn left. Question 3. I engaged. Yes. A. No. B. I break. Yes. C. No. D. The light is green. In the absence of an intersection, these traffic lights are installed to allow pedestrians to cross. Traffic in front of me is slowed down. I still commit myself because I do not risk blocking users. I slow down gradually, but I do not brake immediately so as not to surprise the driver of the vehicle that follows me closely. Question 4. I pass the red car. Yes. A. No. B. The discontinuous line, with tight strokes, is a deterrent line. Drawn in dangerous places, it replaces a continuous line to allow the overtaking of very slow vehicles, such as agricultural tractors. On the other hand, I must not overtake a vehicle that circulates normally. Therefore, I stay behind the red car. Question 5. The lower signal prohibits stopping. At 300 meters, Yes. A. No. B. In 300 meters. Yes. C. No. D. The sign that completes the danger signal specifies that the risk of falling stones will extend over a distance of 300 meters, but it is not associated with the bottom panel which no sign completes. The stop is therefore prohibited from the signal until the next intersection and not in 300 meters. Question 6. To do my daily shopping, if I travel on foot instead of using my car, I will reduce the expenses. Yes. A. No. B. The risks of cardiovascular disease. Yes. C. No. D. Using my car is never free. When I drive, I consume fuel and use the parts of my vehicle. The latter also consumes more fuel on short trips. Conversely, by moving on foot, I save money and avoid polluting the atmosphere. Finally, walking at least 30 minutes a day allows me to reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Question 7 In the street, I can park on the left side. Yes. A. No. B. The directional arrows on my lane confirm that the street is one way. In this street, I can therefore park on the left side and park, for example, in the location behind the first vehicle. Nothing prevents me from doing it either in the right location between the two cars. Question 8. The circulation in reverse traffic is allowed to cyclists. A. To cars. B. To bikes. C. To motorcyclists. D.
This signal indicates a double cycling direction. Reverse traffic is reserved for cyclists. They are the only users allowed to take the street in the other direction. Cars, bikes, and motorcyclists must not do this since traffic is one way for all other users. Question 9. The signage indicates a relaxation point. A. An emergency stop location. B. A pedestrian outlet. C. An emergency exit. D. The green sign does not indicate a relaxation point, emergency stop location, or pedestrian outlet. It signals an emergency exit to the left. Question 10. Wearing a seat belt reduces the number of accidents. A. Divides the severity of injuries by 3. B. Avoids ejection from the vehicle. C. Avoids shocks against the windshield. D. The seatbelt does not reduce the number of accidents, but it reduces the consequences. It divides by three the severity of the injuries and the risk of being killed. Finally, it avoids shocks against the windshield, the latter causing serious injuries to the face and also ejection from the vehicle. The occupant of a car is 10 times more likely to be exposed to death if he is ejected than if he is held by his seatbelt. Mm -hmm.